Hi everybody, I'm Joanne. Welcome to my craft room. Today I'm working on Junk Journal July, day 27, which is poetic. This is the day that I missed um, when I was on vacation, so I wanted to go back and revisit it. And I apologize that I'm voiceovering, but when I recorded this, I had had dental surgery and I couldn't talk. My mouth was numb and uh, yeah, some pain was involved. So I thought I would record. Crafting always makes me feel better. So um, I went ahead and recorded it and knew that I could voice over it later. So I think music definitely um, represents poetry to me or being poetic so I just wanted to pull out a page to use on the um, layout so I do a 19 you know 80s Billy Joel page um, a good friend of mine had given me all of her music um, music collection when she stopped playing the piano and this is one I have in my stash so I'm going to flatten out my book and get started on Poetic. So I'm just going to cover the bottom with the music paper. Simple enough. This is, this is a pretty simple uh, layout just in general because I did, like I said, wanted to get in my craft room and play around a little bit. Um, but I didn't have the uh, <laughs> the brain space to do anything too complicated. So I'm just going to get my glue stick, glue this down onto the page. Actually, most of it ends up getting covered up. But that's okay too. pretty crooked to me so I just want to straighten it out there hope everybody's doing well enjoying their day I had also picked up this um, poetry book the best love poems of the American people and I looked in it and I didn't find um, anything from Robert Frost which is the poem I'm using on this page but I figured I could use um, some of the uh, poetry on, or in the background rather, on top of the uh, music paper, just to cover up some of that manila folder space. So I'm going to just use a piece of a poem. I'm not even sure what it was called, but I thought it would work for this purpose. just realized I could have sped up this video a little bit but we're doing it in we're doing it in real time and I thought I had some old um, add some old dictionary just again to cover up some of the manila folder It's funny, I have my um, TV on in the background while I'm recording this and somebody just got bit by a shark. <laughs> Not that that's funny, but uh, yeah, I had the Olympics on and uh, just trying to relax a little bit. So here's my poem that I had printed out and I'm just gonna give it a little bit of a um, rough edge with my ruler. So I chose The Road Not Taken. You know, as much of a reader as I am, I just I just don't read poetry that much. Um, so I was trying to think of what to do with this page or what poem I liked. I love quotes. I have a lot of quotes that I could use, but poems, I wasn't sure. But I always have loved this poem. Um, 
it just always reminded me of somebody in my life and uh, who definitely took the road not taken and and made all the difference, which is what part of the poem says. So I decided to use that in this on this layout. It is um, a little too big for the for the page, so I end up having to uh, cut it down a bit more. And I had to take off most of that tree on the right hand side, which is kind of a shame because I did like it. But my book's only five and a half by five and a half, so a lot of things have been a little too big for it. But I'm glad I worked in the smaller book. Um, to me, it was easier, I should say. And I like the smaller size working in a smaller, on a smaller page. So I'm going to end up inking this up. Decided not to use my little dauber. And I finally went and um, got my uh, bag from the convention out that had my ink so that I could um, you know edge this out and then I didn't like that circle that I put there by accident so I end up rubbing more into the page and I'm not sure if it helped or hurt it but <clears throat> it happens so it'll just have to do <laughs> I don't think it looks awful, but I kind of liked it a little better before. But all in the end, it all works out. So, of course, I'm going to grab some of my uh, packing material. Because I feel like I need to almost frame out the, the uh, poem a little bit. So it stands out on the page and just doesn't blend into the background. So I give it a little frame on the right-hand side and the left-hand side to make the poem pop. It's not as hot here today in Jersey or I'm not feeling it. Which is kind of nice. So I'm going to do the same thing on the left hand side, just glue up some packing material and let it frame out the poem, although I don't have it over far enough. Time to stick the poem down. So yeah, I have uh, one more day to go with Junk Journal July and I'll do a final flip through, but it'll be kind of fun to move on to other things. I've really enjoyed working on this. Um, I'm really proud of myself for keeping up and uh, I think it's the first time that I ever did 100%. Well, I didn't do 100% on the day it was supposed to be done because this page was back when I was on vacation, but that's okay. Now I did print out this picture of two paths um, in the woods, but it doesn't really look like it's going to go well with this. So I take a little look around my craft room and I end up pulling a piece of lace to see if that goes, but I ended up not liking it. So I don't end up using it as much as I wanted to when I kept trying <laughs> to, it just didn't work out. 
So the only other thing that I do to this page is I decide to um, pull out my little black letters and I'm going to ink, um, ink them up and stamp out poetic on the page. And then I'm pretty much gonna call this page done. Like I said, kind of simple. I just needed to get into my craft room after a, um, you know, a morning at the, uh, I was gonna say at the vet, but at the dentist. And some dental surgery. Everybody knows how much fun that is. Um, but like I said, crafting always helps. So this is gonna be the end of my page. And uh, I really, as always, appreciate you watching. And I love reading your comments. You guys are so kind. I so appreciate it. And everybody have a great day. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.